We got our pastries from right behind me. We make our pastries fresh every day. Our chefs pretty much come in in the dawn of time. <laughs> so for a first time customer, um, you can always go for the lemon tart, which is a favorite amongst our customers so far. But if you want to go a bit more adventurous, we have a range of products that are kind of pushing boundaries, such as our chai blondies, which is just a jam packed with spice, white chocolate base. My most out there flavor combination is not out there yet. Um, I'm easing Adelaide into it. <laughs> there's a few that we've done so far. At the moment, we have strawberries and basil. And there's also our miso cookie, which is also pretty weird for a few people. But yeah, you should try it, definitely. It's other than solid caramel or salted dark chocolate that everyone has, I use miso, which is umami in a trendy word. <laughs> what makes a really good cup of coffee, I guess, the same as how we make a really good croissant or cake. We work with very passionate producers and suppliers. We use Tweedville milk, which is in Lobethal, and our, we have elementary coffee, which is right here in the CBD in Young Street. There's a charm to Hut Street that I like. When I arrived in Adelaide last year to decide to move here, I guess I love it. It doesn't feel like you're in CBD. We opened during South Australia's peak COVID numbers, which is Easter. It was quite overwhelming. Everyone came in support. Uh, it was because of the whole COVID. Everyone had the stronger bond of like trying to support all their local businesses. When I opened, everyone went, oh, let's go there and check it out and show our support and I had a chat and it was great. Yeah, everyone was very supportive. Anyone who has a puppy or a dog, they are welcome here every day, anytime. Even after hours, I let them in <laughs> just to play with their puppies. It's great. 